Hi friends, in the previous video, we have learned about classification of signals. In this video also we will learn about classification of signals. But here classification is based on continuous and discrete time signals. Continuous time signal and discrete time signals may be further classified as many types. Let us know the first the different classification of continu uh, continuous time signal and discrete time signal. The first classification is deterministic and random. The next classification is periodic and non-periodic. The third one is causal and non-causal. The fourth one is even and odd. Fifth one is energy and power. These are also different types of signals. These are classified based on continuous and discrete time signals. In today's session, in today's session, in today's session, let us discuss about deterministic and random signals, periodic and non-periodic signals. First one is deterministic signal. What is deterministic signal? In deterministic signals, there is no uncertainty of its magnitude and phase at any given instant of time. In deterministic signal, there is no uncertainty of magnitude and phase at any given instant of time. Whereas in random signals, the signal occurs by its uncertainty. In deterministic signal, there is no uncertainty of its magnitude. and phase at any given instant of time. In deterministic signal, there is no uncertainty of its magnitude and phase at any given instant of time. Let us see an example of deterministic signal. This signal is the example of a deterministic signal. In the figure A, you can observe that there is no uncertainty in magnitude and phase at any instant of time. So, it is the best example of deterministic signal. The next one is random signal. The next one is random signal. A random signal is characterized by uncertainty about its occurrence. It is quite opposite to deterministic signal. A signal which is characterized by uncertainty about its occurrence. about its occurrence this is called random signal let us see the example of random signal then you can get a clear idea about it a random signal appears like this in random signal there is uncertainty all the time This is about deterministic and random signal. The next type of classification is periodic and non-periodic. Generally, in our days, we normally hear word like periodic, non-periodic. It is the most common word that we use in our daily life. Actually, what is periodic? Periodic is nothing but 
or periodic signal is nothing but a signal which has a definite pattern and repeats itself at regular intervals of time periodic signal is nothing but a signal which has a definite pattern and repeats itself within a regular interval of time is called periodic signal generally a periodic signal has a definite pattern and it repeats itself at a regular interval of time mathematically periodic signal can be expressed as x of t is equals to x of t plus t this is the most important equation for a periodic signal mathematically it can be expressed as x of t is equals to x of t plus t generally what is x of t here x of t is a time signal this time signal is periodic only when x when it is equal to x of t plus t here capital t is nothing but constant which is representing the period x of t is signal continuous time signal which is continuous when when is the signal is periodic if x of t is equals to x of t plus t here what is t t is nothing but a constant which is representing the period this is about periodic signal periodic signal is nothing but it has a definite pattern and repeats itself at a regular intervals of time the mathematical expression for periodic signal is x of t is equals to x of t plus t where t x of t is a continuous time signal it is periodic only when it is equal to x of t plus t and t is a constant representing a period the smallest value of t which satisfies the equation is called fundamental period the smallest value of t which satisfies the above condition is called fundamental period just now we came to know that x of t is equals to x of t plus t if it is periodic here the capital t value is small if it is then it is called as fundamental period the next one is generally we know that angular frequency omega is equals to 2 pi f frequency is nothing but 1 by time period as we know that omega is angular frequency and frequency is the reciprocal of time period so it can be written as 2 pi f is equals to 2 pi by t t is equals to 2 pi by omega in case of a continuous time signal t is equals to 2 pi by omega for example if we consider discrete time signal then the equation becomes x of n is equals to x of n plus capital n in case of discrete time signal whereas in case of continuous time signal it is x of t is equals to x of t plus t x of n is equals to x of n plus capital n in case of a discrete time signal and x of t is equals to x of t plus capital t in case of a continuous time signal the smallest value of t is at which x of t is equals to x of t plus t is called fundamental period in the same way the smallest value of capital n at which x of n is equals to x of n plus n is called fundamental period in the above equation we came to know that t is equals to 2 pi by omega in the same way omega is equals to 2 pi by n which implies n is equals to 2 pi by omega 
this is about periodic signal periodic signal is nothing but a signal which has a definite pattern and which repeats itself at a particular instant of time for example let us see an example let us consider an example if we consider this as a wave it is t1 t2 this total is time period t here it is repeating itself at a regular instant it repeats itself and it follows a de definite pattern at a particular instant of time it is repeating the graph is the curve is repeating at particular instant of time with a period capital t and it has a definite pattern so it is called as periodic signal now let us differentiate periodic signal and non periodic signal non periodic signal signal is also called as a periodic signal a signal which does not has a definite pattern and does not repeats itself at regular instant of time is called non periodic signal or a periodic signal let us differentiate a periodic signal and a periodic signal with some examples let us draw a non periodic signal these two are the best examples of continuous time signals which are a periodic or non periodic because these two are not following a definite pattern and not repeating itself at a regular instant of time if it should be, uh, if it is periodic then the graph should be like in this manner it should be but it is not like that so it is a periodic let us denote the same graph in discrete time signal if we consider the same graph in discrete si time signal the x axis should be denoted with n at 0 the value is 1 here at some other point also the value let us think let us think consider this point as 1 2 and so on t here also it is 1 zero 1 2 3 t this is a discrete time signal representation of non periodic signal let us see about this signal at minus t its value is 0 again it increased again at t its value is 0 this is the discrete time representation of the periodic signal given the a periodic signal given above these are the continuous time signal representations and this is a discrete time signal representations a non periodic signal is nothing but which does not has a definite pattern and does not repeats itself at a particular instant of time now let us see the example of a periodic signal
this is a periodic signal with period t and it is represented in discrete form as on x axis we have to take an on y axis we have to take it as x of n in continuous time signal if the period is capital T in discrete time signal then the period will become capital N as we know that x of n is equals to x of n plus capital N so the period is capital N now represent the same graph in continuous time signal in discrete time signal most probably this is the discrete time signal of this continuous time signal which is periodic this is about the periodic and non periodic signal once again i will repeat the mathematical representations of this periodic and periodic signal for a periodic signal the mathematical representation is x of t is equals to x of t plus capital t where capital t is a period whereas in discrete time signal x of n is equals to x of n plus capital n whereas where capital n is a period here t is equals to 2 pi by omega here n is equals to 2 pi by omega in the next class in the next session we will learn about the remaining classification of continuous and discrete time signals thanks for watching this video